Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm giving you guys a vlog. I thought I would bring you guys along for my day today. It is actually though 12.30, 1 o'clock in the afternoon now. Zara was having kind of a rough morning and was a little cranky. So we just, I had to work with that this morning and finally that is passed. Now she is down for a nap. Hallelujah! And now I have a chance to get some things done. Now, I wanted to first talk to you guys about a particular product that I have been loving. I showed you in the previous clip of me nursing Zara using this bad boy. This is called the Milk Boss and it is by Itsy Ritzy. Itsy Ritzy is a company that is actually based out of like the Chicago area of Illinois and I found them through another youtuber here her name is Erin Williams I will leave her YouTube link down below so you can check her out she is a mommy of two under two which is crazy she just had her second baby I have been following her for years now I love her videos she's really fun and really cute and just tells you how it is and I really I, I love her video she's really funny so definitely check her out down below but she introduced me to Itsy Ritzy and I have been in love with them ever since I love their snack bags I love their diaper bags and everything of their teethers and I love it and something that they just came out with was is their milk boss and I wanted to give a special thanks to Itsy Ritzy for collaborating with me today on this video to show you guys all about the different uses and the wonderfulness of the Milk Boss. I absolutely love it. It is so compact. It is machine washable. You can really use it for anything. I I wish I had this while Zara was a newborn. Seriously, you guys. I've been having some comments down the below of people wanting videos on newborn essentials and seriously, this is a must. I wish I had this over my bobby pillow. This just gives me so much more support. It is so customizable. I can use this. Like if Zara was smaller, I could just put it on my leg and she can nurse right here or bottle feed right here or I can put it on the cat or put it on my bed like I showed you in the clip. It is so easy to use. It is so comfortable. Now something even though Zara isn't very young anymore. She's 7 months old. We've been really struggling because she is such a distracted feeder. You guys, even though she's seven months old, I am using this every single day because I am able to keep her like in position and she's not as like on off, on off, on off. And I'm able to have her relax in, while using this, which never happens, never happens, okay? She's typically very tense while eating, and here I can just lay her, and she's relaxed, I'm relaxed, and what comes from that are those special moments while feeding your baby. Whether that is breastfeeding or bottle feeding, that is what is so special to me, are those moments where they look up at you and they just smile, or they're just staring at your eyes. That is what makes motherhood, okay? Having a baby is so hard and that is what I live for. And with this, I am able to have those, those moments with my daughter. Since I've been using this, I have them so much more often than not anymore. And I, I love it. Definitely check this out. They're not expensive. It's like $25, which is like nothing compared to what you have to purchase for babies and I highly recommend it. I'm going to leave the link down below of where you can purchase this at Itsy Ritzy and definitely check their Instagram out as well and check out that link to be able to purchase your Milk Boss for your baby. One other thing I want to share with the Milk Boss is how also versatile it is. You don't have to use this just for feeding your baby but you can also burp your baby on this if they're really little. You can just pop this up lay them right on it and just hold them there and you can just comfortably burp your baby which is super nice again i wish i had this when zara was a newborn and then another thing is you can also use this for tummy time i mean this thing is so versatile and anyone can use it too you just your husband can use this it's just really nice to be able to have a comfortable way of feeding your baby you need this definitely Okay, you guys, so I had a cute idea for Valentine's Day for me and my husband. So 
we are on a budget like I've mentioned many times before and I we're probably going to be able to go out for Valentine's Day but I still wanted to kind of do something where it was kind of special kind of fun and I came across this idea from the mom's view here on YouTube. I really like their channel. They have a bunch of videos on a bunch of different mom topics and I really enjoy watching their videos and they recently posted about doing this like little game for each day up until Valentine's Day. You like open up in a little envelope and there's like an activity or something for you and your husband to do. Now you can get as kinky or as less kinky as you want, but I definitely have a few ideas and I'm going to be doing this for me and my husband this year since we don't really have any plans for Valentine's Day, but I thought it would be kind of fun and just something that you can bond with your husband and put the phones away and do something for them. Now I'm going to leave down below the link to the video that I got this idea from from the Mom's View channel. Now I am just using what I have. I have some paper. I'm not gonna get super crafty with it. Now they like have envelopes and whatnot. I don't have that. I'm just gonna put them all in a mason jar and just throw them in. I think I'm going to make like watercolor hearts to like fold in half and like have like the activity on. I have like a list of activities here that I can write on there and I have some pink watercolor this is just from Hobby Lobby and it's in the color something rose I'm just gonna say rose I'm really not sure it's a really long name beforehand so I have that I have a paintbrush I have my water and I have my watercolor palette and a bunch of paper and pens and scissors. So I'm keeping this really simple, but I kind of want to make it a little fun and crafty. So I am going to make little hearts. Okay, so these just need to now dry. Whoa! These need to dry and then I'm going to cut them out. Here are my thoughts on Valentine's Day. Let me straighten that out a little bit. Here are my thoughts on Valentine's Day. I think it's a really silly holiday. Let's be honest here. I I'm, was never one of those girls where it's like, oh, it's Valentine's Day, I'm single, meh, meh, meh. I think it's just kind of a silly holiday just because, like, why? I don't know. I've, I've never really been into it, to be honest. It was just never, like, when I was even a kid, I'm like, Valentine's? Like, I don't want to write my name on all these stupid Valentine's. Like, it just wasn't my thing. So, I don't know. Leave in the comments below if you like Valentine's Day or if you don't like Valentine's Day. I'm curious. My reasoning is because I just think it's a silly holiday where you feel this social pressure to have to buy a gift for your loved one. Where it's like, I, I mean, we just had Christmas. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's kind of silly and unnecessary, but that is just me and i don't really like the decorations sometimes like now that i have a kid i feel like i want to try to be a little bit more happier about the holiday i put a little banner up right here here i'll show you but here's my little banner isn't that cute so cute. Yeah, that's about as Valentine's Day as I get <laughs> so far. Oh, and I have my Valentine's Day towel. My one Valentine's Day towel. It's just really like not my thing. So, I have all of my hearts all cut out, by the way. And I have my list of activities. Now, you guys can get creative of like what you and your husband 
like to do or whatever. So one of them, for example, is bake cookies together, play 20 questions, face mask night, write love notes to each other, and each day is gonna be different. So I'm going to just write these ideas here on the back of my hearts, and then I will just place them in my mason jar. So super simple, not complicated. That was so easy and so simple. So I'm gonna just, I think these kind of have to dry a little bit, but I'm gonna just fold them in half. So they're like this and just place them in my mason jar. I actually think I have a smaller mason jar. Let me go look real quick. I actually have this really cute small one that I'm gonna do because these are pretty small. And I just have this lying around the house. I mean, you could use like a basket or anything. Really, it doesn't matter. Get creative. This is costing me zero dollars because I already have everything and I've had this stuff for so long. Gets you to use your craft stuff. It's just fun. And I think it really gives you the opportunity to bond with your significant other, your spouse, your partner, whatever. I think it's kind of fun. I have a silly one where it's like, go on a walk and hold, go on a walk together and hold hands the entire time. Okay, kind of silly, but like, I don't, we don't really do that anymore. And so I'm like, okay, well, Let's do it. All right, guys. Look how cute. And I wrote Happy Valentine's Day on top. Not the cutest handwriting ever, but I just did another heart, a really big one, and I just taped up the top. We got all of our little activities in there. How cute! I'm excited. Okay, quickly, can we talk about two things? One, I am having a horrendous hair day. I hate dry shampoo. I do not like it. I don't know what to do, and I cannot be washing my hair every day. I, one, don't have the time, and two, it's not good for your hair, and I don't know what to do. So I'm having greasy hair today. I'm going to now put it up in a ponytail because it's driving me crazy. Also, I've been trying these Bobo stuffed chocolate almond butter oat bars. These are not good. They're not good. I, I love granola bars. I'm a granola bar addict. I love to try a bunch of different kinds. And this is my second one. And I don't like it. Also, there's only five grams of protein in this huge bar. And it's like over 300 calories per bar. I just, no. Not, not happy with these. Don't like them. I am throwing it away currently. It's now in my trash. I also just had a really unsatisfying lunch. Like, I really need to go grocery shopping. But I'm just trying to wait it out. And I just, uh -huh. Not only is today a struggle for my daughter, but it is for me as well. Um, Zara? Baby girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, does anyone else's baby go after the corners like this? Huh? Why are you going after that, huh? Hmm? You naughty? Can you tell them how you can say dada? Dada. She's crazy. Okay, she seriously goes after those corners of her crib all the time. Huh, you have that big crib, but you only stay in the corners, huh? Naughty girl, naughty girl. Oh, He took my heart and it took a I'm all fed. I have a clean diaper. Can 
me? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so here is the plan for the day. Right now, it is just about three o'clock, and I am in dire need of getting dry shampoo, as I've talked about, my hair is disgusting today. It's now in this high ponytail. It's just gonna have to do. So I'm gonna go to Ulta. There is a dry shampoo that I'm wanting to try. It's just a powder, it's not the aerosol form. That's where I'm thinking my problem is that I don't like, I don't like the aerosol factor of it. So we're gonna try powder. So I'm gonna go and grab something like that, and then we have Cub Scouts. For those of you who may not know, um, at church, I am a Cub Scout leader of the Wee Blows group. So we are having Cub Scouts early today at 3.30 because I guess the school district is all out early today and we are having it at that time. So we have to prepare for this blue and gold dinner and guys, it's interesting to say the least let's just put it that way I'm working with a bunch of eight to ten year old boys and they're crazy they just run around and scream yoho time don't they but Zara loves watching them don't you I apologize for my crying baby but for those of you who may not know I pick up Tyler from work every day so at five o'clock I, I drive into downtown and right now Zara is very tired and very hungry but will she refuses to nap but anywhere besides her crib she will not nap which it can be very frustrating and I mean, it's just hard. So, typically that's when I get stuck at home because I need her to nap or she's like this. And right now I'm picking up Tyler. I'm just waiting for him. I just got done with Scouts. <laughs> that is why I'm in this lovely little getup. So please excuse that. Also, let's just check out that little bad boy, Mount Tipinogus, that like to show up today. Memorize their kids' toys, songs. So I'm going to end the vlog here if you saw that meal that I made I literally just used what was left over in my fridge that I needed to use up and then the sauce I just kind of made it up I did uh, soy sauce honey and some garlic in it minced garlic and that was it super easy and it was actually pretty good got the stamp of approval from Tyler which is always a plus he's I wouldn't say he's not easy to please, but he's kind of picky, and he thought it was good, so score. Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here, and I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to go have some ice cream with my husband, and then I'm going to go to bed because I'm tired, and today was a really long day, and I just want to go to bed. But yeah, if you guys liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And also check out the link that I have below to get your own Milk Boss. Seriously, guys, I use it all the time. It's right here. It's always by my bedside table. It's my favorite. I really, really like it. So definitely check that out. And don't forget to subscribe as well if you want to see more of my videos. And then you won't miss out on any. So that's always cool, right? I'm so awkward. Ending these vlogs are always so awkward. Whatever. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!